It's been six years and one day since a Jacksonville mother lost her youngest son to gun violence. 35-year-old Hakeem Bush was found shot to death on Newbolt Court in May of 2017. Since then, his mother has been searching for the person responsible. News for Jack's reporter Khalil Maycock joins us now live. And Khalil, Bush's mother says she's really just looking for closure here. Melinda Bush says she is hoping that someone comes forward to help detectives solve her son's death. She says since 2017, she's been dealing with bouts of depression, but says if this is solved, it will help her start to heal. Every day is a struggle for me. Every day is painful for me. Melinda Bush fights back tears as she describes what the past six years have been like since her son died. 35-year-old Hakeem Bush was found shot to death in May 2017. It happened on Newbalt Court. A woman was also shot at the same time, but she survived. Melinda says detectives told her the father of four was shot multiple times and that he didn't suffer long. My son didn't deserve it. No one should be gunned down like a dog. Melinda says she moved Hakeem and his other two siblings here from Chicago for a better life. She never imagined this would happen. Melinda described the father of four as someone who was always smiling and a prankster. Coming in here and saying, my dukes. Or he'll say, Big Red. And she says she'll always cherish the moments the last time she saw her son in person. I fixed him some lima beans, smoked turkey, turkey wings, rice, macaroni, and cheese. And he ate it and was like, oh my God. Oh, it's been so long since I ate my mama's cooking. And I couldn't believe he said he didn't ate that whole plate up, but he ate another plate. News for Jacks reported in the past how a report released to us through an open records request from JSO detailed detectives had little information to work with to find Hakeem's killer. She says detectives told her someone was arrested in connection to this case, but not the person who pulled the trigger. Justice going to be served for my son because he deserves it. I know it'll never bring him back. But I want to know why. Every day I want to know why. And that mother says she hopes she finds out that why sooner rather than later. And if you have any information, you're asked to contact JSO or Crime Stoppers. Reporting live, Phil Maycock, Channel 4, the local station.